Now, with respect to, to DHL and Wilmington, again, I, I appreciate what, what John has done and the community has worked together uh, diligently. I'm glad to have been on the federal side a, a part of that. When <coughs> DHL first made its announcement, uh, we worked in conjunction with the Labor Department and the Commerce Department in order to assist in providing funds for a comprehensive economic development strategy. And that resulted in the funding of a staff person to be on the ground here. Uh, because one thing that the Commerce Department said was, uh, you needed a coordinated approach uh, for the region uh, rather than each governmental entity here having responsibility for determining what federal funds might be available or federal programs might be available to, to assist in economic development. They put someone on the ground who can be a liaison to the Commerce Department and help assist in coordinating. Um, um, but the, the individuals with the Ohio Valley uh, Regional Development Coalition and uh, that funding, I believe, really does help in the conversation by giving that uh, that bridge between the federal uh, opportunity and the uh, and the local needs, uh, we also secured a three hundred fifty thousand dollar grant for job training with Workforce Services Unlimited. Uh, we continue to work with Wright Patterson Air Force Base on the opportunities here and ways that this facility can be used um, for some of the additional needs that Wright Pat has. And I think that you're all aware that when the announcement was first made. Uh, that DHL was going to be closing the facility and moving all their functions uh, in conjunction with UPS. Uh, we called for and secured two congressional hearings. But although it didn't stop DHL from leaving, I think it did stop DHL from joining with UPS, which I do believe would have been a violation um, of um, many of our antitrust provisions. Um, and I think uh, it was instrumental in, in allowing the community to have the information necessary about what DHL was undertaking.